Hello everybody, this is going to be part one of my reef tank automation video series. I'm going to go over my different automation systems that I have on my reef tank and go through uh, individually what I'm doing. Um, I've already done a video on the actual tank which is sitting on the opposite side of this wall. Um, but let's begin. Today we're going to first go over my RODI system and how I do my reservoirs, which I've had a number of questions. So I have a seven stage unit, as you can see here, and I go through my standard sediment filter. I think I use a 0.5 sediment filter. Then I use two carbon blocks. I have a one micron and a five micron. Then that goes up right here into my booster pump. So again, I have my incoming water coming in and I have a TDS meter on that. And then I have my output of my third going into my booster pump, which boosts the water through the membrane, which I'm using a 200 gallon per day membrane kit that you can upgrade and bulk reef supply sells them. And then I have an auto flush kit right here. Then that comes to another TDS meter which is right here. So I'm able to tell what my incoming TDS is. So right now my incoming TDS is 266. And this is the TDS coming out of my membrane, which is zero. You always want to have zero coming out of your membrane. Then it goes to three different stages. The first one is the silica buster uh, made by SpectraPure. Then it goes to the max cap, and then it goes to the enduro. And each one of these stages, I also have a TDS meter. Um, so we can look at stage one, uh, might need to be replaced. It has about a one PPM, two has zero, and three has zero. So once you start to get some TDS on one of these guys, you'll want to replace it. These are not color changing, so you have to monitor your TDS with them. Uh, my booster pump and my auto flush kit all get plugged into this power supply using a splitter, which also recognizes the pressure from the pressure gauge. And that's the white plug right here. So that's always plugged in. And the RODI system turns on and off depending on whether or not this pressure gauge has pressure. Now it gets pressure from my two solenoids. My two solenoids have one going to one reservoir, and then I have another one going to the other reservoir. So that's how the RODI unit turns off and on and works. I also, as a safety, if we go up to all the way up to the top here, I have a solenoid sitting right there, and that is coming off of my water line. That solenoid gets plugged into this plug right here. So the solenoid itself is normally closed, which means I have to have the apex give it power. And if let's say there's a leak or let's say there's some form of an issue with my RODI system, I have the water line get killed. Underneath my RODI systems, I have two leak sensors. I have a leak sensor back here. And then I have a leak sensor right here. I also have an RO mixing system here, or I'm sorry, a saltwater mixing system, which I'm using um, a top unit here, which comes into the side of the, of the bin with a bulkhead. And I have the bottom, which comes into a, the side with the bulkhead. That's being driven by the Versa, which is always on. If we look into my RO system, you will see that when the water is high, I have a T fitting to mix the top end of the RODI or the salt water mixing station. And then if I go to the bottom, you will see that I have a bar that's going in and also mixing with the T at the bottom. I also have it inside two inputs for the water so I can take water out of it from my 
other systems and those guys are right there and those go into my liter meters to take water out I also have a salinity monitor as well and then on this side on my RO unit I have something very similar if we look inside this I have two outputs that I can take water from the bottom and I also have a p-amp so I could take some RO water manually if I ever need to right here with this line the other thing to notice is that I have everything outside of the unit with ball valves, with valves, with any time I need to change anything. Um, I have a number of valves here so I can just move the containers. I highly recommend if you're using containers to have a number of ball valves so you can easily move these if you need to clean them. Other thing to notice is that on both of my RO systems, I have float valves right here for the water. Now, most RO systems will come with an auto shutoff, which is usually sitting back behind here. There's the RO shutoff. And generally, once the float switches up, it'll automatically kill the RODI regardless. I also have the RODI system being fed up to my reef bot. So there is an RODI input that I have driven down here. I think I can show you with a little T line. So one line comes from my RODI, goes up to my reef bot, and the other one goes into my liter meter pump right here which feeds my system in my 300 all the way across the house. So this pushes the RODI on my auto top off, which I have a high and low sensor on my 300. It also will pull from the T here, as long as there's water in the line, up to the reef bot, which also has a peristaltic pump. So that's how I do that. To get my RODI from the um, reef tank, I have put another one of the liter meter pumps back here. So I have three different pumps feeding my RODI, one for my 300 and one for my reef tank right here using liter meter pumps. So that's how I do my RODI, my auto top off using sensors and liter meter pumps. Um, the liter meter brains are used for automatic water changes or to put a specific amount of water in. Whereas the liter meter pumps are just powered by the 120 volt power supplies right here. So I just have those turning on and off depending on when I need them to turn on and off with sensors, which we'll go through in the next video. Um, I also have a mixing pump, which is the Versa right here. And that Versa, I can program on my smart things because I am using the power to my Versa pump right here with the smart things outlet. So that's the general gist of how I use my RODI system, and that's how I use my auto top off system. In the next video, we're gonna go over my plumbing, we're gonna go over sensors, we're gonna go over my auto water change system, we're gonna go over some of the Apex gear that I'm using. If you like my videos, please subscribe, and also make sure you hit the bell button at the bottom the bell button will let you know when I upload new videos. We also do live streams every Saturday morning, and I typically will be giving away something during that time. So as long as you hit the bell button and you subscribe, you will get the notification when I'm live, and you'll also be able to be entered into the giveaway. Thank you for watching, and if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below, and I will be sure to answer them. Have a good day.